Well, can you believe it? We made it back from that field trip of beef jerky. That was delicious. And congratulations to our winners. Uh, I made the announcement online, so if you haven't heard yet, you'll be getting a notice announcing the two winners of our beef jerky giveaway. More field trips on the way. We've got the Breakfast of Champion episodes coming up. We also have summertime about ready to kick in. That's going to be exciting. We're going to show you some, uh, a lot of barbecue action going on, uh, a lot of outdoor food. Uh, it's going to be a blast. Things you can do uh, safely right by the poolside. Uh, we're making plans for some great shows. So we got a whole year of episodes heading your way. You just hang in there. Right now, though, let's take a look at some pictures that were sent in over the past seven days, like this one. This is Benjamin's Bacon Explosion. Wow, you guys love that bacon explosion. That's beautiful. And then here's Corey's Chili Cheese Dip. Okay, I'm sure it tastes delicious. And then Diablo's Ultimate Chocolate Chip Cookie. And then let's take a look at Amy from the Midwest United States. She used my Lazy Man's Filet Mignon on strip steak and said it came out great. And then there's Louisville made my uh, Lazy Man's bread. And same with Nick. Here's another shot of somebody else's Lazy Man bread. Uh, Nick, nice job. And Louisville, nice job, you guys. I bet that bread was delicious. And last but not least, JP is thinking ahead for our Breakfast of Champions episode. I don't know if that's really Breakfast of Champions in that picture right there. God, I'm thinking like, I don't know if I would even feed that to my horse. That looks pretty hardcore stuff there. Real dry shredded wheats and raisins is not my idea of a breakfast. But, hey, it's high in protein and fiber and some people like that. So we, uh, we appreciate that picture, JP. Well, there you go. There's the pictures of the week. Now it's time to do Lazy Man's drinks. I'm going to show you four different drinks. Don't worry. It's going to be delicious. One of them you're going to absolutely love. I don't know which one but one of them is going to be your favorite. And then if you want the recipe for these, they're going to be over on my blog. It's really easy. You can cut, paste, or print right off my blog. All right? So let's get started. Now, this is something my mom does at every barbecue. I don't know who told her this, but ironically, it tastes great, and it's not too bad for you. All right, you're going to take some orange juice. I usually use the pulp-free orange juice because I don't want pulp in my, in my drink. You're going to pour. It's going to be a 50-50 mix. Half orange juice, half lemon lime soda. I have Diet 7-Up. You can use Diet Sprite. You can use Sierra Mist. Any type of lemon lime drink. The clear drink and any citrus. You can use pineapple juice, orange juice. Okay, So it's lemon lime and a citrus beverage, 50-50. Here we go. Now the cool thing is the, uh, the carbonation is what makes this so killer. All right, mix it up. Now here's the beauty. You could throw in slices of, of lemon, slices of lime in here, throw in chunks of pineapple. You can really dress this up. I'm making the basic mixture. You guys get creative. Uh, I would probably do slices of orange in this one. But this mixture right here, real simple. 50-50, let's take a taste. There we go. Set that down right there. Um, this is like, I like to call it like citrus punch. You can call it whatever you want. I don't even care about the name. And you can alter it any way you want, but it's really simple. Mm. Oh, and delicious. The tingling of the, of this, the uh, seltzer is just awesome with the citrus juice. Beautiful. So we'll call this citrus punch. Let's go on to the second one. This one's one of my favorites. I like to call it Bloody Mary Mix. If you don't know what Bloody Mary Mix is, it's usually a Bloody Mary is an alcoholic beverage with vodka and tomato juice. Some people use V8 juice. Uh, I'm making one without alcohol, okay? I've been doing this since I was a kid. You can take regular tomato juice. You can take V8. I prefer V8 because it's got more flavor than the regular tomato juice. All right, just gonna pour your glass of V8. And look, my mouth's watering. I'm all smacking my lips. All you need is Tabasco and pepper. And you're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of pepper in there. And then you're just gonna put a few drops of Tabasco in there too. And then you're gonna mix it up. It's gonna be delicious. 
Let me warn you something about Tabasco. If this sits in your closet, the hottest part of the Tabasco is gonna float to the top. So make sure before you put in drops, you shake it up and mix the hotness all throughout the bottle so you just don't burn your guts out. The top drops are always hotter, so you mix it up. All right, now put a few drops. I usually do five drops. You guys can do it to your liking. There we go. All right, take a spoon. Mix it all up. Mmm. Oh, the pepper and Tabasco. Oh, it's so good. And you can use this for your Bloody Marys. This is a quick mix. Oh, it needs a little salt too. I don't want to throw a little salt in there. Oh, wow. Mmm. A little bit of heat. Oh, it's so good. All right. I call this the Virgin Bloody Mary mix. This next one is called iced coffee. You've probably seen it at McDonald's, you've probably seen it at Starbucks. This is real simple to make. You don't have to spend all the money. Get some cold coffee, pour it on ice. Take some of your favorite sweetener. I'm using Splenda. You can use sugar, you can use equal, sweet and low. You can do honey, I don't care, do whatever you want. Add your sweetener. Take half and half warm milk, any type of a cream you wanna to add to it, pour it right in, like you would normally do for your coffee. Beautiful, piece of cake. This right here is probably five bucks at the store. That's it. Now, I normally drink hot coffee in the morning, but in the afternoon or the evening, I usually drink these. And especially in the summertime, I drink this all the time. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Ah, awesome. I just saved five bucks. <laughs> it's Lazy Man's Iced Coffee. All right, let's go to the next one. Before I get into the last drink, I want to tell you about this picture. Uh, my wife picked it up at Walmart for like eight bucks and I'm like that is so cool. It's a nice Big glass pitcher So check that out and I don't even work for Walmart. Walmart's not paying me or anything. So stop the comments I can hear them coming already, but this is really cool. It's got a nice design Some of the ice goes through some of it doesn't Okay, so here's the last drink we're gonna get into and uh, the little story behind it All right last year. I went to Las Vegas just to relax with my family and we're walking from the hot desert, it was like 110 out in Vegas, and we're walking into the lobby of where we're staying, and right there in the entryway, it's crazy, right there in the entryway is this big container of ice water. And I, I look in it, and I'm like, something doesn't look right, right? And I'm looking closely, there's stuff floating in the ice water. And it's crazy, but there are these cucumber slices that I'm doing right now, and they're floating all through the water. And I'm tripping out, I'm like, ew, you gotta be kidding me. Cucumbers in ice water, right? So I'm like, huh, wonder what that tastes like. Well, we came back downstairs and it seems, we'll put a few more in there. Uh, it seems that it must taste pretty good because within like 15 minutes, all of it was gone. And this glass container was huge, right? The guests kept drinking it so you know me, I gotta be a part of something that's hot. So, so, <laughs> my kitchen's falling apart here. So, I try it out. And if it doesn't, if it didn't shock me, it was like the craziest thing, but basically, this stuff was amazing. And I'm like, you're kidding me, I've never heard of this. My wife had heard of it. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, we used to do it at the restaurant and all that stuff, but I never heard of it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a cucumber you're gonna put it in ice water, and we're gonna let this chill for a little bit, okay? And you're gonna let the flavor of the cucumbers go through the water, and I have to tell you, on a hot desert day, this was the most refreshing thing that went into my body. It was cold, it was crisp, it was clean, it was, it was crazy. So we're gonna try this out in a minute, but we gotta let it chill for a little bit, at least an hour let it chill, and then we're gonna taste it and see what it tastes like. I, I'm telling you, I thought it was gross too. 
but this is the hottest thing in Vegas at all the hotels. Wow. Okay, check this out. This is beautiful. You can smell the cucumber just coming out of the ice water. It smells so crisp and clean, it's unbelievable. Okay, now I can't explain this, but this is what my son loves. He'll drink tons of water if I just make it like this. Crazy. All right, here we go, ready? Bottoms up. Oh. It's weird, it's colder than cold. I can't even explain it. The cucumber uh, beverage is like, it's just refreshing all the way through, going down. Try this out. If you try any of the four, try this one. All the drinks are easy to make. They're all lazy man drinks because they take two seconds to throw together. Let me know what you think, okay? Check it out for this summer. It's delicious. I'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Jack. Mmm.